When it comes to picking software to use for day trading, you want that software to have three important characteristics. Speed, efficiency, and reliability. So in this video, I want to talk about the charting platform that gives me fast and reliable data, as well as makes me the most efficient trader possible, and that platform is called TradingView. As day traders, we are searching for volatility, and when analyzing a volatile stock, sometimes things can move very quickly. So because of this, our data needs to be as fast and accurate as possible if we want to perform the best we can. So in order to get the fast and most accurate data, it's best to get this data directly from the exchanges themselves. Whenever you sign up for TradingView, they're going to have different levels of subscriptions that have different features attached to them. So this really is just a personal preference in what your personal needs are when it comes to your charting layout and how many indicators you use and things like that. So just kind of go over these and just kind of see uh, which one fits your needs. But whenever you sign up, if you want to have true real-time data, you're going to have to come down here to the bottom and subscribe to the real-time market data. So this is the official real-time data for the exchanges that these stocks are traded on. Now, if you trade the U.S. market, these three are going to be what you want to subscribe to. Let me go back to CTIC here. This is a stock that is traded on the NASDAQ. All right, so if you want true real-time data for this type of stock, you're going to have to subscribe to the NASDAQ. Now, this is a small fee. It's $2 a month. Uh, if you want all three of these, then it's $6 total. So it's not too bad, but this is really important because this is the fastest data flow that you can get. A lot of these free brokers and charting platforms don't have this data subscription, and that's why their price quotes can be a little different or slower compared to other platforms because it's not true real-time. This is actual true real-time data. Now, they have a bunch of different markets on here. If you like to trade OTC stocks, they have it. If you trade the TSX, they have the real-time data for that. Um, basically, any type of market that is out there, they got the real-time data for that. So really, if you trade you know, the ASX or the BSC or anything, they probably have that real-time data feed on here. But if you trade the U.S. markets, these three is what I recommend subscribing to. Now, another feature TradingView has when it comes to speed is the ability to have a faster time frame, such as a seconds chart. Now, this may or may not be helpful to you depending on what your style or strategy is. But oftentimes, what you'll see is a lot of scalp traders like to use a seconds chart, maybe using the 5 seconds chart or the 15 second chart, because it allows them to see in more detail of what's going on around critical levels that they may be watching, and then they can make a decision much faster. Okay, so over here is where all the time intervals are. Most of the platforms out there just give you one minute charts and above. But TradingView, they actually give you uh, much faster time frames, giving you the option to do a one second chart, five second chart, 15 second chart, or 30 second charts. Now, I will say that if you do want these second base time frames, you are going to have to subscribe to the premium subscription because it's the only one that offers the second base intervals. All right, now let's talk about efficiency. Efficiency is very important if you want to be a successful day trader. Efficiency is going to be the measure of how well you can gather the data, analyze that data, make a decision from that data, and then actually execute a trade. So this kind of also relates to speed as well, but this is more for you as a trader, not the actual speed of the data. Now, when you are day trading, price movement can happen very quickly. So you don't really have a whole lot of time to calculate everything you need before taking a trade, such as what percentage you're willing to risk or where your stop will be or how many shares you'll take or whatever else you may need to figure out that pertains to your particular strategy. So if you can eliminate as much time as possible needing to calculate things or draw things on your charts, then you'll be more efficient. And you'll be able to spend more time actually focusing on the trading rather than looking at a calculator or moving your eyes all across the screen trying to figure things out. So this is one of my favorite features that TradingView has, and it's the ability to program certain indicators or calculations that help you make these little calculations for you and it does it automatically 
All right, so let me show you some examples. So down here is called the Pine Editor. And what this is is basically a way for you to input certain pieces of code to inject into your charts to do simple calculations for you. All right, so let me just kind of show you a few examples here. I've written a bunch of code. I've gotten a, a couple of these codes from different users. And I'm also still working on a bunch that uh, I just kind of like playing around with. All right, so let me just kind of show you one example here. This is one that I wrote uh, that shows me what price is 10% below the current price. All right, so it's just a simple math equation that whenever I save this to the chart, it's going to show me exactly what the price of 319 is minus 10%. All right, so let me just click uh, add to chart here and it has this little line I can remove that line if I wanted to but it also shows it on the price scale right here so let's just say that your particular strategy you want to cut ties of a stock if it falls below 10% of the price that you get in at All right well let's say at this point in time well I'm gonna enter right now at 319 well instead of saying okay well where's my stop gonna be if it's 10%, well, 10% of 319 is pretty easy. It's 31.9 cents, all right? But then you have to subtract that from the current price, and that could take a, a little bit longer, all right? But this calculation does that automatically for me. I already know right now it's 287. That's exactly 10% from the current price, all right? So that's just an example, and you can get rid of this line if you wanted to. I'll just come over to the settings right here and then just... Uh, just move that over like that and then uh, now I don't have that line over there but now I know that this blue little highlighted price is 10% minus the current price and this changes to whatever stock that you have on here whoops if I wanted to do Apple well let's say that I wanted to buy it right now at this point in time 117 well 10% since this is a higher price stock it's gonna be way down here 10% is going to be 105.86. All right, so if I wanted to do a 10% stop loss, if I bought it right at this point in time at this current price, this would be a 10% stop loss. Let's do another one here. I have another one that I've written that shows me what's the maximum share size I can get if I wanted to use 25% of my buying power. All right, so I put this right here, and let's just say that I have an account balance of $25,000, and I want to use, actually, this is set to 50%. Let's do 25% uh, of my buying power. Well, how many shares can I buy of Apple if I wanted to use one-fourth of this $25,000? So let's add that to the chart. And this is going to give us a little squiggly line right here. Uh, but I just kind of ignore that. I just look at this number right here. All right. So if I wanted to buy Apple right now using one fourth of my $25,000, I know that I would need to purchase 53 shares of the current price. So I hope you see kind of how this works. It just helps you do calculations a little quicker. It displays it all on your charts. So you don't really have to think about this stuff and then draw your attention away, uh, you know, using a calculator or doing simple things like that. All right, so that's what I use this Pine Editor for. It's just to help me do simple math calculations, but you can also program your own indicators. And that's what a lot of people do. So let me go to the home screen here and show you uh, if you come over to the scripts tab and it'll show you all kinds of calculations and scripts that people have written and actually posted on here for you to share so it looks like this person has written a calculation to draw dynamic support and resistance for you all right so let's click on this and just kind of see uh, what this does so it looks like that it draws support and resistance for you or tries to. So what you can do is come over here, just copy and paste all this code. This is a lot of code. So we'll just copy that and we'll go back to our charts. All right, so then we'll come down here to open, new blank indicator, get rid of all of that, and we'll just paste all that in there and then click add to chart. So this looks like, let's see, it's it's loading here. 
give it a second. So this is trying to identify support and resistance for you automatically. All right now, some of these custom indicators that people have written are really good. Some of them are just kind of so-so, but they have a ton on here. If you can think of a way for your charts to kind of help lift some of the load off of uh, you know, the amount of work that you do on a chart, you know, there's probably something on here for you. Right? There, there's all kinds of scripts people have written for oscillators, volatility, trend analysis, volume, moving averages. Uh, let me just click on moving averages and just kind of show you. I mean, there's literally thousands of scripts. Right? And just these people have programmed these, these pieces of code to just kind of predict the market a little better. So now let's talk about reliability. It really amazes me how there are so many trading platforms out there that can't even provide accurate data or have a stable platform. When you have so many people that rely on your platform to trade the stock market, which is inherently risky, wouldn't you design a platform to be as stable as possible? Well, you would think so. But a lot of these companies out here that offer free programs, they don't really make a whole lot of money and, and they don't really invest a lot in uh, trying to make their platform top notch. But TradingView, they, they do because this is a paid service and it's actually the cheapest, highest quality platform that you can get. All right, so let me just kind of show you uh, their uptime status and just kind of uh, the reliability that this has. All the green ones are just healthy days. All the ones with a yellow one are days that have an incident and the red would be downtime. This doesn't have any downtime over the last 90 days. And all the ones with the incidents are mainly just scheduled maintenance. Now, there are some hiccups from time to time, and that is just because this is technology. Technology isn't going to be perfect 100% of the time. Sometimes things can go wrong, so you have to account for that type of risk. But if your platform is constantly having issues on a regular basis, then it's time to switch platforms. Right? I've been using TradingView for over five years now, and I rarely have an incident where uh, things just completely are not functional, okay? And uh, when there is an incident, it's usually fixed within a reasonable time, okay? So if you're really looking for a top-notch charting platform that is really easy to use, it's fast, it's reliable, it makes you really efficient, it has all kinds of tools, I really suggest that you check out TradingView. Check out the link below. You can get a 30-day free trial of this platform. I hope you all enjoyed as much as I do, and thank you so much for watching.